One witness testifying before the Senate Education Committee Monday estimated that House Bills 549 and 562 are roughly 70 percent similar, but much of the testimony focused on the differences in the charter school models proposed in those two bills. HB 562, sponsored by House Majority Leader Sue Vinton, a Republican from Billings, would create community choice schools operating largely independently from the existing public school system and with exemptions from a number of requirements for those schools. They'd be run by boards elected by parents of the students attending. HB 549, sponsored by Representative Fred Anderson, a Republican from Great Falls, would give local school boards the first chance to set up a charter if parents request one. If they decline or are unable to, other groups would be able to come in. These schools would have fewer exemptions and boards elected by all registered voters in surrounding districts. The Montana School Boards Association endorsed 549, saying it stayed in line with the state's existing requirements for education. House Bill 549 doesn't look for an escape from accountability. Rather, it embraces that accountability and provides a focused means by which school districts and other applicants can focus in on and provide innovative educational programming, something, again, that's uh, maybe different than the average. Those who prefer 562 over 549 said community choice schools would have strong accountability measures. Many testified they want a complete break from the current system, which they believe isn't working. To me, it's a distinction without a difference. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot more to change from the status quo. And I feel that if parents and communities had wanted to take advantage of what already exists, they would have done so. But we have one example. This basically lets the same people be in charge, and we want different. The committee also heard testimony Monday on House Bill 393, which is also sponsored by Vinton. That bill would set up educational savings accounts for families of students with special needs. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.